No jump scares in the windows. Nobody looking on from the woods. I don't remember that chair being pulled out like that. All right, so we got our wood. Oh, you. What the fuck? Fears to Fathom, episode four, A New Hope. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. I'm starting my new life. My new life, just me in this RV. And of course the meth business that I run out of the back. We have to cook, Jesse. We have to cook. Oh shit, I'm driving. I thought that was a cutscene. Kayla Nelson, one text message. Okay, well, what do you got here? Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Dude, I can't drive and text at the same time. Like you pull up those text messages and then your car just goes rogue. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Just me in the open road. Oh, come on, Kayla. Dude, I'm not pulling over to read text messages. She can wait. First place I see, I'll pull over. What happens if I crash? I don't know, let's find out. Oh! It says press space to get up. Oh, oh, hold on. All right, so we crashed into um, a telephone pole. And now we have, now we have some trees pushing through the side of the RV. It adds some nice feng shui to the camper. I like it. Can we keep it like that? All right. I guess we can uh, continue driving. Well, at least. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. I thought we were done. Like, I thought I legit wrecked. I wasn't very proud of my driving. I'm going to pull over up here. Here, this is good. Right here. All right. Let's check the text messages. All right. So Kayla says, uh, I remember there is a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. And then I said, I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. But who's this? Who's Mitch Scott? Uh, this is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Shift starts at 12. Why'd you pick this job initially? We don't know. I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady who died. Where can I park my van? Down by the river. Some basic small talk. Uh, I don't know. Oh, diner's up ahead. I don't think we need fuel. No, we got half a tank. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Diner's right here. Is this RV parking right here? <laughs> All right, like a glove. Perfect park job, guys. We got that VIP RV parking. R V I P parking. You, you drive through the wall and then you just like lean out the window. You're like, hey, can you just like bring it to my car? I'm, I'm going to eat in here. All right. Hopefully they have good food. Ka Kayla says they have good burgers. I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Not, not too bad. Let's go. Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Is this guy drinking with his chin? It looks like he's drinking a cup of noodles with his chin. Just keep sipping. You don't have to keep putting it down. He's like, this is also my workout. I like to work out my lower back while I'm sipping my coffee. I guess we'll sit back here at the sea bass table. Hey, sea bass and the guys offered to uh, pick up our tab. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Uh, yes. Shouldn't you deliver that food? that you're already holding. Like maybe take that to the table and then come back and ask me. Uh, cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Ooh, ugh. all sound great. I'm gonna go with a meatball sub and chicken nuggets. Very well, would you like anything to drink? Uh, large Coke. Okay, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Let me know if you need anything else, sugar. Will do. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh, do I need to get up? I like how they like suggest like what to do. Like, what if I didn't get up? What if I just sat there? Would the story change? Would he, would he say, oh, but this time I didn't have to go, you know? And then the waitress comes back and that never happens. 
All right, so let's go to the bathroom. All right. Uh, little little privacy, please. Can I can I piss on the floor? <laughs> I spilled. Uh, excuse me, sir. Were you the last one in the bathroom? No. Okay, because someone made a huge mess. I mean, there's a giant puddle on the floor that that needs cleaned up and uh we, you were the last person we saw go in there no nah, wasn't me in fact we sent one of our employees in to start cleaning it and he slipped and he broke his neck and now he's paralyzed from the neck down are you sure that wasn't you no not me okay because when the ambulance came to take him away uh on their way down the street a deer ran out in front of them and then they went off the road and they fell off a cliff and it burst into flames Sir, are you sure this isn't this didn't start with your piss on the floor? Because if it was you, you really created a serious domino effect of tragic events. Nope. You got the wrong guy. Oh, wait, wait. I think our food's here. We got a huge swig, not a big gulp, okay? Not a big gulp. Due to copyright reasons, we had to go with a huge swig. Uh, looks like they gave us a, an assortment of sauces. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's ranch barbecue sauce and honey mustard for the nuggets which is nice because nowadays have you noticed that restaurants are getting more stingy with the dipping sauces oh shit yes okay that meatball sub looks good though all right so let's try this out consuming and it's just gone right gone mmm delicious chicken nuggies we're not even using the dipping sauces and then I'll wash it down with a huge swig of huge swig Dude, the waitress is making me nervous. All right, I'm all done. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. They don't give us an option to leave a negative review. Uh, would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Uh, here's the check. Your total is $6. $6? Pay $6. Pay $6 and a 15% tip. Pay $6 and a 50% tip. Look, if this is a horror game and we're in some kind of small town where everything's connected, everybody's in on it, kind of like Chainsaw Massacre, right? I need to get in good with these people so that later on when they go to kill me, they're like, hey, that's the guy that gave me a 50% tip. Let's spare his life. I'm going to go with 50% with tip just because I don't want to die. Okay, I guess we're good here. She's like, can you please leave? I have other customers that need to sit down. Okay, cool. All right, let's get out of here. On the road again. Oh, I just can't wait to get on that road again. Anybody hiding in the bathroom? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Dude, when I got on here, I'm like, it's awfully dark back there. Like, what would the odds be of someone being on the RV? Like, I don't think we locked it, you know? Like, someone could have slipped in here when we were eating food. Yeah, there might be someone on here, but they're in the bathroom. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we're heading out. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Hope you guys got insurance. It's cool they put this much effort into building the world up. Uh, I'm not even moving. I, I, I stopped pressing forward. I was pushing back. Hope you got collision insurance. All right, well, we haven't gotten murdered yet by whoever's hiding in the bathroom. So that's, that's good. We got the radio on, but there's like some creepy ambient music in the background all right we're looking for did he say gate g i'm not i'm not entirely sure i saw some campers i drove past the trail at first okay i was waiting for him to say something that says do not enter though so maybe go around here i should probably back in in case we need to make a quick escape <laughs> this is terrible. Dude, the killer in the bathroom's like getting tossed all around. He gets stabbed by his own knife. Is my horrible driving. I guess we'll park here. It doesn't really say. Let me check the bathroom one more time. Okay, bathroom door is still jammed. See? You hear that music? So someone else is staying in a camper. Yeah, I didn't drive down here because it said that the, um, it said do not enter. Do not block gates. Gold Creek Trail. All right. Well, I don't think that's the gate that they want us to go down. I think they just wanted us to park. I think we're good. I think that's where they wanted us to park. 
All right. Oh, fuck you! Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. Oh, he's talking to us. You scared me. One of who? Oh shit. I, I didn't. I I tapped my keyboard. I didn't click on anything. Um. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Oh, I already don't trust him. He killed the person that we're supposed to meet. He killed Billy. He killed Billy. That's why he doesn't really know who we are, but he's going to try and play it off like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah, we were hiring someone new. Hang on. Let me check on that. <laughs> okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Uh, no death cord three. So do I drive there in my RV or are we walking? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. Dude never admitted that his name was Billy. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, motherfucker. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing, nice enough, nice enough guy. Oh, oh, tower 12 is a nice enough guy, okay. He'll be your closest contact in any case of emergency. All right, thank you, Billy. Okay, G to throw or, come on, I was reading that. Yeah, okay, hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears, nasty business. All right, you got it. All right, well, now I missed the what buttons do what because he interrupted my tutorial. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked, well, cool. And read. Stop. F for flashlight, G to throw. Thank you. All right, heading over to tower 11. Designated access. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. I left my bag in the RV at first. Hint, hint, go get your bag. All right, so let's head over and grab our bag and check on the bathroom. See if the door's still stuck. Still jammed. All right, and our bag's right here. Billy jumps back out. He's like, oh, you're not gonna need that bag because you're not gonna survive the night. You're not gonna need an overnight bag because you're not gonna make it to morning. I mean, um, uh, good luck. I heard footsteps. I heard footsteps like behind and to the left. Someone was following me. 1132. Oh, we made it to the tower, did we? Oh, okay, that's the tower right there. Got it. Tower 11. Are we being followed? I Maybe I was just hearing stuff. I'm very suspicious of Billy. If that is his real name. All right, so how do we get in here now? Oh, oh, here we go. That's, see, that's what I was expecting. That lookout tower up there, because it actually has a building on top of it. This is like, I don't know, like, like a power station maybe? All right, so now, now we're on track. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Utility shack. Okay, all right, so we reached Utility Shack. Are those matches? Yeah, matches, another flashlight. This is all dusty though. So I wonder if this belonged to the person who died. I mean, 
quit their job before me a jerry can can i pick this stuff up oh shit hold on yeah okay i don't need this right now hold on let me put this away let's get settled in and then if we need a jerry can we know where to find it oh there's a generator right there okay so once we get settled in it'll probably tell us to go find um the generator which will then tell us we need to find fuel i send the stairs to the top of the tower Oh, this is actually pretty cool. It's a cool concept for a horror game. Okay, once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything. What did that say? Out of the ordinary? Okay, home sweet home. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I gotta read faster. Oh, there's another jerry can right here. Let's find my new home for the next few months. I guess I'll put my bag right here. Forgot to turn on the generator. See, I, I should have done that before we came up. Anybody watching us? Any eyes peering from the forest? Okay, so it didn't need fuel. We're good. Dude, that would have been a good spot for a jump scare. Right here? Like, right off the bat. You open it up? Like, a wild animal something. Like, a raccoon comes running out. Not like a murder or anything yet. Like, save that for later on. But that would have been great to have a, a jump scare right there. Wait, hold on. Oh. All right. I saw this light. But I think this is connected to the generator here, right? Unless someone turned this on. But I'm pretty sure when we were here, there were no lights on. Oh, man. Oh, cool. All right, we have binoculars. I can only grab so much stuff. Yeah, my hands are full. I'm going to take these with me, though, because these aren't much use down here. They'll be more useful up in the tower. Looking for tower 12. Is that tower 12 off in the distance? I'm just looking around. Soaking in the scenery. Okay, so we'll shut that. Keep the wild animals out. And I'm going to put the binox over here. Can we start a fire? <laughs> it's like... Yep, that'll keep me nice and toasty. One match burning. <laughs> oh, that went pretty quick. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that'll keep me warm all night. I didn't see any wood. All right, let's let's uh, let's put these down. Turn the light on. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Guess I don't need that either. bug repellent wait what if i do this we pour some gasoline in here oh shit it's on the floor okay okay hold on hold on we take the matches okay and then some bug spray <laughs> i i was expecting a massive fire could you imagine your job is to live in a lookout tower and look for forest fires and you start a massive forest fire bear spray is that what it is uh yeah it's bear spray yeah okay so this is for for really big bugs turn, turn that off for a second uh here's the rules system password is iron bark and then the tower number all right iron bark and then 11. i think we're using a commodore 64. yeah this is like old school windows. Do you guys remember windows looking like this? Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer today. How can I make your day better? I just need a friend to talk to. Here's a random fact for you. The Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in generating the oxygen we breathe. Service reporting. Oh, wait, we need to 
report the weather i think they said welcome to the state-of-the-art service report static static new guy haven't gotten your name yet what is it again i'm jack wait who's this i'm connor fire tower 12. Sorry okay light turn on. you are watching isn't that the job i've had to cover your area until you arrived anyways what brings you to this towering paradise of ours just looking for a change hey man i'm really tired can you just leave me alone no, I tried. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Okay. Oh, God, there's a storm coming. All right, so we got to build a fire. All right, hold on. Let me see what information I need. All right, we need temperature, wind speed, number of hikers assisted on um, zero. Okay. All right, so wind speed. Let me take this out here. All right, that's a clean 19 knots. Okay. Uh, I think that's a compass. Yeah, yeah. We need a thermometer. Maybe there's one on the wall. Uh, we need... Oh, oh, yeah, there's one right here. All right, so 19 knots and uh, looks about... Uh, we'll call it 48. Oh, 45.2. All right, so uh, that's a uh, 45... Point two degrees Fahrenheit. Wind speed was uh, 19 knots. Uh, you know what? I think it's a pretty clear night, wasn't it? I didn't see any. I, I guess there is some clouds. We'll, we'll say clouds. Hikers assisted, zero. Reported by Jack Nelson. Okay. Wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Son of a bitch. All right, wind, windy. I, I didn't know that 19 knots was windy. I mean, clearly it's wind, but I don't know, like, where do you draw the line? All right, yeah, there's some wind. Mist? Clear? Oh, okay, it, it accepted clear. Okay, looks good. All right, we're clocked in. All right, now our next task is to build a fire. But uh, is that going to be there the whole game? I accidentally dumped some gasoline on the carpet. It's still there. Uh, let me grab my flashlight and there's probably firewood at the bottom of this thing, right? Oh, nope It will not let me leave. So the firewood has got to be in here somewhere. Yeah, there's there's no wood What's this? There, uh, there's no firewood no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did the staffer who was in the lookout before you Marley. Marley used to work here. What happened to Marley? She was one gritty woman. One gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Can you let me go? But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. All right. Let's head down. Let's go get some wood. Let's go get some wood. Uh... I'm telling, I'm telling you, one of these times, one of these times we're going to open this and there's going to be something in there. I'm calling it now. All right. Oh, dude, plenty of firewood. All right. So here we go. We actually have some wood this time. Should I pour some gasoline on it? I think that's going on the floor. Oh, see the crouch. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to be nice and toasty. All right. And then we need our matches. Hold on. Uh oh, here they are. Dude, I thought someone came in here and stole the matches. All right. That should keep us warm throughout the night. My hands are full. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? I think I did. Did you report for the night? Yeah, we, we definitely did. We definitely did. We filled out a report. Yeah, it's done. Very well. Anyways, I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. <laughs> you have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Tower
Tower 12 signing off. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Over and out. I guess go to bed. Oh, 326 AM. Ooh. Unintelligible. Is this a dream? No. The, the screen looked kind of funky. I didn't know if we were dreaming. I had to pee. All right, well, first things first. You got to hold it for a second because I got to see what this is. Static. Connor? Connor's dead. They got Connor. Whatever got Marley just got Connor. All right, grabbing my flashlight, which I have no idea where I put it. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh my God. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Wait, did it say space to pee? Oh, we can just piss over the side of this thing? Look out below. People down at the bottom, they're like, I didn't think the rain was supposed to start until later. Well, that's nice. So I guess only if we have to take a shit, do we have to use the porta potty? So we don't have to worry about jump scares. What is that? Oh, we got a strange, strange figure out there. Is there two things out there? No, that's the sign. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, I see you, motherfucker. Oh, I see you. All right, we got suspicious activity. Do I need to report that? I think I need to report that. Nothing gets by me. Employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You know who that is? To protect one of the most prestigious Jack in the state of Washington. It's definitely Jack Septicai. Dude, I want to voice some characters in a horror Washington. game. Yo, send me an email. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Dude, I thought we were 911. We are the law. We're the park rangers. Sure the park, if you see, see smoke, smoke, don't, don't joke. joke. <laughs> Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. I thought we were the authorities. Is is are we not the I thought the park rangers were like a division of the police department. Dude, I feel like we have no authority up here. Sometimes when shit goes down, you don't got time to call the cops. We got to take matters into our own hands. All right, I'm going back to bed. Night two. We're sipping coffee, but it's already nighttime. We didn't get to experience the daytime up in the tower. It could be hot chocolate. Yeah, it could be hot chocolate. That's a nice view. It really is. Take a photo. Wait, 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 wait. I can't move, but I'm wondering if we can get a sighting of the mystery guy we saw last night that's as far as i can zoom all right we'll just take a nice photo ah this is the life our cell phone has no service either i did notice that take another photo all right it's a nice view Sucks we're gonna get murdered. Dude, I could live in a place copy. like this. Uh, yeah, I, I copy. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn the lights on. All right, put this in the sink. Turn that off. I think Connor needs help. Tower 11. Connor's still alive, which is also good to hear. Uh, copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Well, not at the moment, but I can look. Oh yeah, I see that smoke. I need you to confirm. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. You gotta give me time, Connor. Yes, I see the smoke, you son of a bitch. You spot that white smoke up north? Yep, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Mm-hmm. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? 
Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Uh, yes. Do you have any other detail? Is it safe? Uh, heading north. I'll report back on it. And I uh, let me just grab my gun. Yeah, we'll need the flashlight. We don't get a gun. I was joking. I left the bear spray. What? We're, we're actually going to use this? Oh my God. Can you imagine like a, a giant grizzly bear, probably taller than this porta potty, and then, and then your only defense is this? That's it. And then you just get fucking mauled because all this does is piss them off. Maybe, maybe make some sneeze. Take that and that. All right. He did say the lazy trail. Lazy trail 3.2 this way. Yeah, it did say something about not going, do not go any further than half a mile north. That's what the guy told us when we first got here. So we're in direct violation of the... Someone just screamed. Uh, we're going completely against what we were told to do by the guy at the guard shack. I love Jen. No camping. She gives the... Oh, my God. Oh, damn. Okay. Are, are we going to find people hanging in the woods? Someone just screamed. Oh, now we're getting all these text messages. When I was up in my tower, it said no service on the phone. Okay. Let me just observe real quick. Ooh. Can we, can we take these? Those look nicer than the ones I have. All right, I guess I'll set these down. <gasps> Look at that. What, what, what is that called? EMF. EMF reader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, dude, that's an EMF reader right there. So, are we dealing with ghosts and bears or ghost bears? I don't know how to deal with ghost bears. I don't think my bear spray works against those. Oh, dude, I want to check these text messages, but someone's whistling. All right, okay. Checking the messages. Someone's whistling in the woods. Okay, so we just sent the photos that we took to uh, Kayla. Well, okay. Kayla Nelson, I, I'm going to say not wife because, like, you think that she would come with us. Like, why would we come, like, live in a lookout tower for months on end if we're a married, if we're married? All right, honey, I'll be back in six months. Where are you going to be? Two hours away in the forest. You can come back and see me. Nope. I got to go to work, honey. I'll see you in six months. It's only two hours. We drive further for vacation. Ah, oh, they need me. They need me up in the woods. Yeah, but they have the, the same last name. I wasn't even thinking that. So, Kayla, I'm going to say sister. It's got to be sister. Okay, here we go. I'm going home. Okay, sorry, just got home. Uh, did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. All right, so there we go. We're all caught up with Kayla. Now we get to go to the woods. Should I put that out? I had to put it out. You know what? I'm going to let that burn just so we have a source of light. And I'm going to inspect the whistling in the woods. Oh, there's definitely footsteps. Can we cross over there? I can't cross over there. Okay. Who's there? Step out here. Who's there? I'm going to say step out. Show yourself. Nothing. Nothing. Anybody there? Still nothing. Still nothing. Maybe I'm hearing things. Yeah, we can't cut through there. I wonder who that belongs to. Dude, imagine kayaking in a little pond like this. Uh, I guess we'll fill up the bucket in the pond, right? Yep. Dude, as soon as we put this fire out, whatever's in the woods, I it's, it's going to come after us. That's my guess. And that's going to be super dark. Okay, it's actually not that dark. We still have the lantern on the table. All right, no sign of life. So are we good now? I mean, there was definitely screaming when we came down here. Do we need to investigate that? All right, let's head back. No one in the tent. All 
I don't see anybody in the woods. Oh, there's definitely something in the woods. Can we go in there? Can I, can I take a closer look? No. That's not me. I'm not moving. Yeah, it's following us. Ooh. All right, 907. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Well, at least we got back to the, the split. I'm definitely going to check the porta potty. I'm going to always check that porta potty until something jumps out at us. I have to know. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, when we were gone, did something go into our tower? No, and I do like this. I like that we can see in clearly, like the windows aren't covered. So we already know if there's gonna be someone in there. Do I need to report every day? I might have to fill out another report. Uh, windy? Clouds? Okay. The weather looks the same as it did last night. I, I just keep clicking everything until it tells me that I'm good to go. Yeah, I mean, not much more clouds than last night. So report has been submitted. Do you guys think at any point we're going to be in here and we'll be able to see someone looking in? I hope that doesn't happen, but low key, I really hope that happens. I really hope that happens because that's going to be fucking scary. Buy blinds. Well, the good news is, let me show you this before we go to bed. Check this out. These actually all come down. So these are actually better than blinds. They're like full on wood boards. I don't control them though. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Never mind. Let me let me shut these things. Batten down the hatches. Okay. Uh, I can't close the one. All right. So this one stays exposed. Now we can't see the murderer coming. If one does happen to get up here, I had to report to Connor about that cam site. All right. All right. All right. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Uh, talk about the campsite. Uh, what do you mean? And who are you talking about? Uh, who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, nothing really. <laughs> nothing really. Or, uh, there was a scream. Uh, let's mention the scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Uh, it was a manly scream. So the three kids um, that were hanging on the on the sign, kids went missing in that area. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. Uh, what happened to the kids? We don't know. Their parents said some. Slender man. Off the trail. It's unbelievable. Slender man. Oh, their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. We heard the whistle. And that explains the EMF reader. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Dude, they're all in on it. Connor, Billy, Mitch, they're all in on kidnapping kids and campers and shit. And who, who was the lady that worked here before I took over? What was her name? Marley. Marley, thank you, Mick. Yeah, Marley discovered what they were doing, so they killed Marley. And now here I am, taking Marley's place. But Marley stuck her nose in their business, and they didn't like it. That's my guess. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Mm-hmm. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, now we can go to bed. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. 
All right, we're too hungry to go to bed without food. Got some text messages from Kayla. Let's see what they say. All right, I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to, right? Uh, mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, he he. Uh, looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try the recipe now, but they weren't delivered because we have no service. Okay, pizza, pasta, bake, ingredients, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Okay, place all the ingredients in a casserole. Okay, casserole, check. Pasta, check. Uh, pepperonis, check. Marinara sauce, check. Here's tomatoes. Mozzarella cheese. See, I could live up here. Might need a bigger fridge though. Okay, and we grab that, put that in the oven. Boom. All right, Connor needs us. Okay, what is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What did they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. All right. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Well, thank you, Connor. I appreciate that. Good night, Connor. All right, so he reported to the authorities they're going to take care of it in the morning. <laughs> is the oven ready? Not only is the oven ready, the food is done. We didn't have to preheat at all. Oh my God, that looks good. I don't know where they want me to put it. My hands are full. All right, do we just put it down there? I like eating in bed. No plate. No nothing. Barehand it right out of the oven. No fork. Dude, this is making me hungry. This actually looks pretty good. My mom makes really good lasagna. Now I kind of wish I would have left the windows open. I, I feel like... Man, I, I hope we don't miss out on anything like peeking in. I was already full. Cool. And we got some more for tomorrow. Uh, are we good? Oh, I uh, could have kept it in the refrigerator. Okay. Well, is it going to fit? Yes. I'm not going to open all of them. Just uh, a few of them. Yep. Time to go to bed. It was getting cold. Thought I, I'd get the stove lit. All right. One problem with that. One problem with the stove, and that is I don't have wood up here. I do not have wood, so we have to go down. We got to go down to the shack. Oh, my God. I'm constantly looking out into the forest to see if I can see anything staring back at us. So far, I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. Is there anything in here? Ah. <sighs> Nothing, nothing, nothing. Anything over here? Oh, I'm just waiting for something to like pop up. There's something behind the shack. I can hear footsteps. It stopped. Should I go out back and look? I have to. I, I gotta go around back and look if it'll let me. No. What about this way? Okay, that's all the further I can go, but dude, there was definitely something back there. Oh, man. Open all the windows. <laughs> so you're going to die regardless. So you might as well open all the windows just so you can see it coming. It doesn't look like the fire's starting. Dude, maybe I actually had to put gasoline on it. I did that earlier as a joke, but I didn't know that we actually had to. Uh, that, sh that should do it. Little dabble, do you? Yeah, I guess we had to put gasoline on it for the firewood delight. Okay, turning off the flashlights, turning off the lights. No silhouettes looking in. Going to bed. Can we go to bed? I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Son of a bitch! We just opened all of them. Okay, that's it. All right, all the boards are shut. All right, all the boards are shut. Lights are out. Nothing peeking through the window. 
Time for bed. 2.27 a.m. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. There's the whistling sound again. Hold on. Oh! Yo, is that the devil? What is that? Oh my god. Yeah, dude, it's outside the window. What is that? Oh my god, dude! There's something strange about that night. Is this it? Is this where we die? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crouching, right? And then let's peek out the blinds and see if he's right outside the door. <gasps> oh, dude, he's right there. Should I go out there? Sh should I go out? I don't know. I, I didn't think it was going to let me go outside. <laughs> I was jump scared by the by the mere fact that the door opened on me. I don't know what to make of it at the moment. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's Connor. It's Mitch. It's Billy. They're all in on it. <gasps> we can go down. See, the game doesn't let you do certain things like if you don't need to. So... The fact that we can actually go down makes me really nervous. Nope, see? It stopped us right there, but does that mean... Why, why did it let us go down this far? Are we able to see whatever the entity is? I don't see anything in the woods. Nothing on the trail. All right, I'm going back to bed. Locking the doors. Are we just going to leave that out there? I guess so. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I shut the door, but it pushed me on the outside. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, I lo hey, Connor, I locked myself out again. Can we, can we call Connor? Connor, do you copy? Wake up. Nothing. Do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? Yes. There's something outside my door. There's something eerie about this place. Uh, something outside my door. Wait until morning. Mention the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids just messing around. What if this is not a prank? All right, I don't think these are kids messing around. It feels like some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? This is serious. Tomorrow? Yeah, better send the corner. You can't wait till tomorrow. Okay. All right. Good night, Connor. Thanks for nothing. Connor didn't make any sense. Well, he just woke up. I'll give him that. Dude. Be hiding under the bed. Oh, we can. We can hide an... Oh, my God. No fucking way. Shit. It tracks your voice? Is that new? I don't remember that being in the, in the other ones. Maybe it was. This is perfect if you're not streaming... How the fuck are you supposed to talk to chat, but also not alert the killer that you're under the bed? All right, well, that's foreshadowing. We don't need that right now, but at some point we're gonna have to hide under the bed and I, I won't be able to talk. I'll have to keep my mouth shut. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt 
darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Dude, I'm curious to know what what Jack does during the day. Can we get that game? The follow-up where we actually get to see what he does during the daytime to help pass the time. Okay, I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. My paranoia of the, for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Dude, why are our binoculars so dirty? Oh, oh, hold to clean. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they get so dirty. I, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard like a whisper. I can't really see. I'm very limited on view. Yeah, I can't move. Dude, I want to see something. We only ever caught one thing on the binoculars, like on that first night. We haven't seen anything else since. I guess that's it. I, I can see the, the shack from here. I don't see anything walking around out there. I just feel like the fact that it spawned us in with the binoculars, I feel like it wants us to see something, but I don't see anything. Is that Connor? Please, someone answer. I don't know if that's Connor or not. This is Jack Tower 11. I hear you loud and clear. Oh, that's two different things. Uh, this is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. All right, take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's the situation? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current location? He's like, I'm lost, motherfucker! If I knew my current location, I wouldn't be lost! Um, how about this? What is your current location? Because I'm just curious to see what he says. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks mm. different at night. Yep, I know exactly where that's at. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. Oh, God. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Oh God, dude, we're gonna get this guy killed. Listen to the music. Take the right trail. Take the left trail. Exit, let me scan the map and get back to you. Uh, he said there was a stream. So based on what he said, he said he can go right or left. He's in a trail near a creek. Oh my God. Tower, that's us right there. I'm gonna say, oh my God, dude, I don't know. Uh, go, go left. I'm going to say go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. Come on, dude. I'm actually not sure where he is. That was just a guess. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. Uh, making decisions in the dark can be challenging. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I knew it. I, f I fucking knew it. Oh, God. I'm right here. Okay. Uh, what? What do you mean? I hear you. You don't hear me. I hear your whistles. No! <laughs> That's not me. I'm in my tower right now. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Who's knocking on our door? Oh, God. Well, if there's someone, oh my God, if there's someone that's pursuing him and there's someone here, that means there's multiple guys. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, dude. Who, who is that? Is that Connor? I, I can't tell. Of, of course the boards are, are down in the one area. I need them to be open. All right. I'm opening the door. Oh, uh, should I? All right. Let's face our fears. Here we go. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Oh, this is the guy from 
the beginning at the guard shack. I was assisting a lost hiker just finishing up on report. Nothing much. Oh, we got to do another report. I forgot about that. No worries, pal. Got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? Uh, I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Yeah, Connor sent me. And he's going to be like, who's Connor? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bob cats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Uh, I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Uh, just getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Fuck! I don't know how to use the camera because the only time we took photos, the game just put us in camera mode. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. All right, well, thanks for the supplies. All right, so let's do our report quick. You know, I could get used to this job. I mean, minus the possible murders. Okay, so Mitch, there we go. That's where Mitch came from. Mitch hired us. Billy never heard of us. And Connor works at guard, guard tower 12. I'm wondering, oh, dude, I'm still thinking that either Billy or Connor are definitely like involved with this. I'm thinking that like, like I, I think the killer killed one of them and is now taking on their role and, and most likely Connor. Like Connor's been dead and now this guy that we're dealing with is actually the killer. Or you're thinking it's all Mitch. Mitch is like the mastermind behind the whole thing. Okay, let's find out. Yeah, the whole thing's a big cult. I can't, they won't let me open these. Dude, they already know. They're like, nope, you can't see what's gonna happen outside the, outside the door. So report's done. It's too hungry. Okay, so we can eat the food from last night. Eat that up. I love how everything's just laying on the stove because I can't put it back in the fridge. You know what's crazy? I think it took longer to heat up in the microwave than it did to actually bake in the oven. All right, and he likes to eat in bed. I'm hoping that uh, when it comes to like the alternate endings, assuming that they have multiple endings, because they always have. I'm hoping that we can load back in like at the, you know, at the crossroads of where we make different decisions rather than starting the whole game over. Because so far there hasn't really been, other than leading the hiker in the wrong direction, we haven't really had a lot of like game changing choices to make. All right, so we're, we're done with that. We probably need to go down. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. We have to go down and get wood for the stove. Great. All right. Let me grab the flashlight. The last time we went to the shack, I heard footsteps behind it. So this, this could be it. Like, I don't think they're going to keep teasing the same thing, right? Like we go to the shack last night. We heard footsteps behind it. They're not going to redo the same the same thing like they gotta they gotta go a little bit harder you think there's somebody in the shack this time you think there's someone in the porta potty this time there hasn't been yet i've checked the porta potty every single time there's yet to be anybody in there <laughs> I, th I thought that was the time i thought that was the time hmm All right, no whistling. Nobody in here. No jump scares in the windows. Nobody looking on from the woods. I don't remember that chair being pulled out like that. All right, so we got our wood. this guy oh oh my god i got a headache oh 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 my god dude uh, just gave me a heart attack yeah what's your name okay i understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you do you want some company would you like a roommate what's your name who are you 
what are you doing here? What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Dude, my head is like, I must have tensed up like so much that like, dude, I have a fucking headache. That scares the shit out of me because I, I don't want these games to give me an aneurysm. Okay. Um, wouldn't you agree? Okay. Right. We rely on information about fire sightings. I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Okay. Yeah. We need information. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. <laughs> it's getting late. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Yeah, that's not weird. <laughs> he just like fades away into the mist. Oh, dude. The tension was so thick. I don't think he's the killer, though. Like, that would be too obvious. I think he's just a weird guy that works on the... I, I think he's pretty honest about what he does. He works on the, on the power lines. And there you go. And let me put these over here, just in case that shell... What? I see smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not. Of course I'm fucking in here. I just lit the fire. Copy now. This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Uh, ran into Silas downstairs. Who's Silas? That's my guess. Is that he doesn't know who Silas is. Ran into who? Oh! The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. What? What? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. So Silas is a ghost. I don't know. He maybe, maybe Silas is a ghost. If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. You can't blame everything on a prank. Something has to be real. He knew my name. Like, what a, what a choice. Our choices are possibly, I'm not sure, I don't know. Like, why give us three options? It's like the same shit. Disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. That's right. The sack now. Okay, good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Yep, over and out. I think we're good to go, though. Let me turn off this. No one peeking in. Woo! And we'll go to bed. Two nights later, 9:18 p.m. Oh, it's raining out. You got a minute? Dude, you know my name. Stop calling me new guy. Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Uh, thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? We'll figure that out. Thanks for letting me know. All right, so do we think this is also part of the plan? If Connor's in on this, if he's the one behind all this, maybe they want me to open up this file. Maybe console? Update. Update package code? Checks for current version. What about this? About check update. Three updates found. Package code 3436084. Please enter an active line. Oh, okay. Uh 1045. We we good? Line not available? 5487. There we go. Your system is now up to date. 
Oh, cool. It's out green. Okay, so the power just went out. Uh, no one's looking in. Oh, wait, we updated the computer. Maybe the generator just ran out of power. You know, maybe we just need to fuel up the generator. All right, we're going to head down to the... Can I carry fuel? Yes. I'm taking fuel with me just in case the generator's out, and that's all the problem is. It could be as simple as that. Just out of gas. Oh, what's that? Like a shooting star. It was like a green, like a meteor or something. Dude, I keep hearing like weird noises. Okay, so the generator's back up and running. Uh, I don't see anybody hiding by the shack. I got drenched in the rain. Yep, we're getting drenched in the rain. You think someone's hiding in the porta potty? No one's been in there yet. Could this be it? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for someone to be hiding in here. I think I've checked the porta potty like 10 times now. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, it's, it's a hiding spot. All right. I doubt there's going to be anybody in the porta potty. Because this is definitely intended for us to hide in. The question is, while we're down here, what's going on up there? Do you, do you think someone's going up, up the tower while we're down here? I, I feel like this is a distraction. All right, let's go back up. Oh, that, okay. Fade to black. One week later. All right, well then nothing happened. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're gonna wanna see this one, Jack. Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Yeah, yeah, I copy. All right, Connor. Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Why are you still up? Uh, right here, Connor. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Oh, God. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. All right, so we're going to go take a look at it. Got my flashlight. They're probably going to want us to take bear repellent all right we got that oh my god all right no one's waiting outside for us yet Ooh. okay i think that's right across the the bridge isn't there a little bridge over there didn't feel safe going downstairs so what what would make you feel safe? What would make you feel safe, big guy? Huh? How about, a, how about an axe? Can we take the axe? Uh, maybe binoculars? Maybe we'll just investigate from a distance? Any cultish activity going on? Uh, yeah. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Take a photo. All right, so there's definitely a cult meeting happening. They're all dressed as like demons. Uh, and it looks like they're maybe sacrificing a body. Probably Silas, unless Silas is in the cult. Okay, snapping a picture. This is gonna make a great background for my PC. Oh! <gasps> Shit! <gasps> They all started running. Did they scatter or are they coming over here? Dude, go, go, go. Go! Shit, I think they're coming over here. All right, you know what we gotta do, right? Huh. Come on! Lights off, door shut. We're hiding under the bed.
Is that my breathing or is that his? I don't think that's his breathing. I think it's mine. Maybe we can go to sleep. I had to make a run. No. That's not that's not us. That's him. Listen, listen, listen. Right? Listen. Barely hear breathing. He's on the other side of this wall. He's right here. But the good news is he has to run around the side and then down the stairs. We can run down the stairs, go right into the uh, the outhouse, right right into the porta potty and hide again. Let's try that. You ready? I have the flashlight, but I'm not turning it on. He's going to see us, but I should be able to get to the bottom and then hide in the porta potty. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Ah! Ah, go, go! I forgot that it can hear me. <laughs> Dude, my sigh of relief got me killed. Damn it. Well, that's one ending. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was such a good strategy. I, I mean, that was a great fucking plan. I can't believe I blew it. I was so relieved when I saw the guy walking away that he didn't see us go into the porta potty. Let's go. I gotta remember how to get back to the house. Or not, not the house. I gotta remember how to get back to the... Uh... Did we do it? Uh, back to the RV. Yes. Come on. Come on. But remember... I still think there's somebody in the... As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran into ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. So, uh... No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. What about the photo? Nope. 
No photo. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years of past experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Survive the fourth episode. That, that's a uh, survivor. Well, there you go. Fears the fathom. We survived. I mean, not first try. <laughs> Do you think there's another ending? I'm just wondering if we go back in, what other choices would we have? Bear mace him? Maybe. No, it didn't work. What about taking the bear spray with us and going down that other path? And maybe the bear will eat the guy, but we'll have the bear spray. Like if a bear does show up, let's try, let's try that. I'm more curious about that. We're going this way. Oh shit. Ah! I thought it was a bear. I thought it was a bear. So do we want to do one more? Go the other way? Maybe we get killed by a bear. Ooh, different ending. Oh, no, 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 same ending. All right, so no matter which direction you go, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can get to um, the bathroom of the RV. That's the only thing I'm not sure of. Ah, nah, that's it. Okay, all right, well, that's it. Cool, yeah. Okay, so no matter which direction you go, one direction is, is definitely death. And then the other two directions are either or. Like, you survive both ways. All right, so that concludes Fears to Fathom Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout. And I'd say this is my favorite one so far. That one jump scare, like, nearly killed me.